guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've seen any of my previous packing videos, then you're probably aware when I travel, I like to bring my rolling carry-on suitcase as well as my backpack. But once I get to my destination, both of those bags are a little too bulky to go hiking or exploring the city with. So I like to downsize to a smaller bag, preferably crossbody, that allows me to be hands-free but still hold my essential items. My first bag option is a sling bag. Now I have the Amerabag small sling bag and I was gifted this about 15 years ago and it is still going strong. It is crossbody and ergonomically designed to distribute the weight of whatever you have in the bag. It has a lot of different compartments and pockets to allow you to stow anything such as an umbrella, water bottle, it holds my iPad as well as a book. It even has a key loop so you can hook your keys to it so they don't fall out when you're rummaging through the bag. The main pocket does have two zippers that you can push together and link a small lock for added security if that's something that's important to you. Now I've taken this bag pretty much everywhere hiking with me. I've hiked the top of Mount Vesuvius in Italy with it. I've gone to the gym numerous times and stuffed this in the locker. So it has been put through a lot. I've even taken it to the Vatican Museum where they have a strict no backpack policy. And with this crossbody, it does look like a small backpack. So instead of wearing it crossbody, I did loop it over one shoulder so it looked like a small to medium sized purse and was able to explore the Vatican Museum without anyone approaching me that I was breaking their backpack policy. So that's one option you can wear over one shoulder instead of crossbody, but the crossbody also allows you more freedom to distribute the weight when you are carrying this bag. If I want to go a little bit smaller than a sling bag, my next option is a belt bag, or as it's affectionately known as, a fanny pack. Now this particular belt bag does have a lot of room to carry my cell phone, wallet, and power bank, or my phone and my small water bottle. It is very spacious. It's also anti-theft in that you can loop the zipper clasp to the loop at the end of the bag and it will lock the zipper for added anti-theft protection. If you unclasp the belt, you can also loop different items such as an umbrella for extra storage. And this can be worn crossbody similar to a sling bag or around your waist like a waist belt. Either option works just fine and still allows you to be hands-free. Now, if my belt bag is a little too bulky for what I want, my last option is a money belt. This money belt is flexible, but has an elastic band and allows me to carry my passport, some credit cards, and some cash. I can wear it cross body or around my waist, either option. It can also hold my cell phone if I don't mind it being too bulky. However, if I want to hide the fact that I have money, I can wear it around my waist, underneath my shirt, out of sight, so thieves will not be aware of where I'm keeping my cash and identification. Those are some of the crossbody bag options that I choose from when I'm traveling that allow me to be hands-free but still hold my essential items. Comment down below if you use any of these options and I will see you in the next video. Ciao for now.